This video is going to demonstrate how to create the rotor frame base. This is part of um, assignment number six, where you guys are going to be creating um, a few parts for an assembly and then um, assembling them all in a single file and applying the um, motion joints or rigid joints as necessary. Now, the purpose behind this video is to go a little bit more in depth into how to create um, these holes. There are some symbols here. There's some different uh, dimensions. And there's been a lot of questions about this. So let's go ahead and go over this. First off, let's take a quick look at the 3D image of this block. So we have um, these two countersinks here. And then on the bottom side, we see that there are some counter bores here. Now, I know that because I know a little bit about machining and um, geometric design and tolerancing dimensioning and tolerancing, and this is definitely worth mentioning, especially to uh, people who don't have that much knowledge about this. Now, one thing that I have attached here for you guys is this chart right here, and I've highlighted some of the things that are very common that we should understand, kind of the minimums. So when we see this symbol, that means diameter. When we see this symbol, that is for a counter bore. This one is for a countersink, and this one indicates depth. So if you apply these four, um, if you if you just learn these four out of this entire table, that is perfectly acceptable. And as you can see here, we see those same symbols. So this countersink, this large white V, means countersink. These symbols mean diameter. And then down here, this is a counter bore. And then we have depth here. So let's go ahead and apply all these and create this object real quick. Okay, so this object is one inch by four inches by a half inch. So let's just create that real quick here. Okay, four inches, inch, and it's gonna be 0.5 inches thick. Okay, so here is our block here. Now we need to put holes in it. What I would also say is there's clearly a chamfer on all edges of this, but let's do that at the very end. It's actually easier, I think, uh, to do that at the end. So the first thing on the top is these two um, countersinks. I know it's countersink because this symbol is here. And what we want to do is just take it line by line. So the first line says diameter 0 0.380 through. So that holes going all the way through. The second line says countersink diameter 0.75 or three quarters of an inch by 82 degrees. And lastly, there are two of these holes. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch first. What I like to do before I use the hole tool is I like to create points so that uh, the use of the hole tool is simplified. So where are these holes? Well, they're essentially in the middle. This is one inch wide, and these are half inch from the edge. So these, these are in the middle. There's a lot of different ways to uh, note that, but I'm just going to do it with a simple dimension tool. And from the edge, they are also one half of an inch. And then I'm just going to use horizontal here. Okay, now that I have the points, I'm going to go to my hole tool and I'm going to select those two points. Now, I'm not worried about the preview yet because I haven't entered this information. We're just going to work top down. For extents, uh, let's just do all at this point because this first one is essentially through all. For hole type, here is where I want to roll over and see my options. I have simple, counter bore, counter sink. Well, I know this says countersink, so let's put that in here. For hole tap type, um, I don't see any call out for threads here, so I'm just going to leave that as a simple hole. You can always roll over and see what options you have. For a drill point, since I'm going all the way through, I'm not going to have a drill point, so I don't have to worry about that either. I can set it to flat, angle, doesn't matter. What does matter is what I enter in the menu here. So for the depth, all is already entered. I'm going to leave that. For the second one, this is the diameter of the countersink. And if I look here, it says countersink diameter 0 0.75. So enter that in this box, 0 0.75. Now 
Now the second box says 82 degrees because that is asking for the angle of the countersink. That is the standard angle for most countersinks. So unless you have something telling you otherwise, leave it at 82. This is the drill point angle, which again, we don't have a drill point since we're going all the way through. So don't worry about that. That is the standard uh, drill bit size. It's or uh, angle. It's 118 or if it's a split point, it's 135. And lastly is the diameter of the hole itself. So of the through hole, what is the diameter? If I look back here, it says diameter 0.38. So enter that. And the nice thing about uh, the preview is that I can check and make sure that it looks right. And if you ask me, that looks just right. So I'm going to hit OK. All right. I'm kind of take a double, uh, a second look and make sure. And I think that looks really good. So now I'm going to do the second part. I'm going to flip this guy over. I'm going to sketch on the bottom. And I'm going to put my points. And there are four of these guys. Now let's see. Now from the edge, they are point or 1.5 inches. So that's really easy to put in. Same thing on this side. They're very symmetrical. And they are a quarter inch from the edge. So let's put that in here. 0 0.25. 0 0.25. Now once I have in as many as I need, what I like to do is just use my horizontals and verticals to set these. So I know those two are vertical, I know these two are horizontal, and I know these two are horizontal. It really uh, keeps everything a little simpler where I have fewer dimensions. That's the way I usually do it. I don't think it's right or wrong, just however you do it, make sure you get the right answer. Okay, now I have my points. Now I'm going to go to the hole tool again. I'm going to select my four points. And notice that the hole tool just keeps what I put in last time, but that's not what I want. So don't be alarmed by the... A preview that says something's not right. Okay, now for the second set here, I have something a little bit different. I have a quarter inch by 20 UNC 2B. That is a thread call out. What that's telling you is this is um, a one quarter inch diameter by 20 threads per inch hole. So this is a threaded, aka tapped hole. Okay, the UNC is the type of thread, Unified National Course. If you see UNF, that's Unified National Find. So you're going to want to be in the Unified National uh, Database, essentially. And the 2B is the class of threads. It's essentially how um, tight or loose the threads are. It tells you the threads go half inch deep. And it also says there's a counter bore with a diameter of 0.375 that goes uh, that's depth is 0.25. So if we enter all this information, then we'll be good to go. So let's start over here. Our hole type is now a counter bore. Our hole tap type is not simple because we do have thread, so it's going to be tapped. We do, we're not going to have a thread offset here because we're going all the way through. Um, a drill point again going all the way through, so that doesn't matter. What does matter is what I enter here. So for the counter bore, the counter bore is 0.375. Counter bore depth is 0.25, as it says in my drawing. Degrees on the drill bit do not matter. And I can't set this box because this is tied to my threads. So I want to make sure that my, my type is unified screw threads, because remember, UNC means unified national course, and this is unified screw threads. You can see there's a lot of options here. And it just depends on what thread callouts there are. Our size is not 0.375. Our size is one quarter of an inch. Now, if you say, oh, wait, but I don't see one quarter of an inch here, that's because in this list it's in decimal, and in this callouts it's fractional. If you are a little rusty on how to convert, you literally take a calendar, or excuse me, a calculator. It must be a little early in the morning. You take your calculator and you type in one. You press the divide symbol, and then you press 4. You can do that with any fraction, and it gives you the decimal of 0.25. Then you move to designation, which is which threads do you want? Well, I'm not going to make this up. I'm going to use exactly what I'm given, which is 1 quarter by 20 UNC. 1 quarter by 20 UNC. That's probably going to be default because it is the most common. For class, you just enter what you're given here. In this case, it's 2B. And right hand is the standard type of threads. Left hand is, is very 
much a specialty thread. So you should assume right hand unless you're told otherwise. At this point, I have all the information I need. I can see my uh, preview looks really good. Hit OK. And now I have my counterboard threads or my counterboard uh, screw holes that are threaded. That is how you use the whole tool to create a countersink and a counter bore. I hope you guys found this helpful.